Good morning, it's 9.30 a.m. on June 13th. I want to take the next couple of minutes to bring you up to date on the latest information regarding today's severe weather threat. The main change for this morning is the Storm Prediction Center has upgraded most of our area to an enhanced risk. The confidence in severe weather is increasing, but we still have considerable uncertainty regarding the exact timing and location. And we'll discuss that a little bit in this briefing. It now looks like there may be two rounds of storms, one this afternoon and then another one later this evening into tonight. The biggest threat for significant straight line winds is with the second round tonight, but that also has the greatest uncertainty. Damaging winds will be the main threat, but heavy rain, hail, and tornadoes are all on the table. This is a map showing where the best chances of significant straight line winds will be within this uh, dotted black line here, generally north of US 30. Again, looks like there'll be two potential rounds. The first round, there could be some scattered severe storms, but again, the best chances for this significant wind damage will be later this evening into tonight. Overall, confidence remains low regarding this event. Uh, we do have increased confidence that somewhere we'll get uh, severe weather, but again, the exact location and the timing of that still a little bit up in the air. It is possible that the strongest winds remain north of our area, mainly across uh, central Michigan. And we are expecting uh, high heat and humidity still Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll have highs in the mid to upper 90s and heat indices well into the 100s. Excessive heat watches are in effect for the entire area. Some potential impacts here, a medium potential for uh, increased heat illnesses Tuesday into Wednesday. Also potential for power outages later today due to, to severe weather, which may cause some issues as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday due to the high heat. There could also be some uh, potential impacts to communication and transportation later today if the more significant uh, severe weather materializes. Remember, straight line winds can cause as much uh, damage as a weak tornado. They can exceed 100 miles per hour and affect large areas. They can knock over semi-trucks, trees, and power lines, stay indoors away from windows, avoid trees, power lines, and objects that could blow around. If you're driving, slow down and keep both hands on the wheel. And some heat safety tips. Remember to never leave people or pets alone in a closed vehicle. Drink plenty of water, even if you don't feel thirsty. Wear loose-fitting, light-colored clothing. And spend time in air conditioning, if you can, or in the shade. It's 9.30 a.m. on June 13th. Thank you for joining me for this multimedia weather briefing. Forecast information could change at a later date, so be sure to check our website, weather.gov iwx, for the latest information.